Falkirk knew if they wanted to hold on to hopes of Premier survival, they had to beat Hearts. While the Tyne Castle Club were desperate to take the points and a bid to secure a European place next season. Falkirk had the ball in the net after eight minutes, but Richard Cadet's header was ruled offside. They were rewarded for their efforts in the 34th minute when David Weir headed in Ian McCall's corner. Four minutes later, Falkirk were two ahead. Neil Duffy's header coming back off the bar via Alan McLaren to Fraser Wishart, who buried it. 2-0 at half-time. Two minutes after the restart, Falkirk grabbed a third. Kevin McAllister was the creator, Crawford Bapti the executor. Hearts were taking a pounding, Falkirk were rampant. With 54 minutes gone, Brian Rice made it 4 0. The men from Tyne Castle were getting the run around. Three minutes later, Richard Cadet led Alan McLaren and Peter van der Ven a merry dance. He laid the ball off to Brian Rice, whose cross was headed against the bar by Neil Duffy, and Crawford Bapti followed up to net number five. Joe Jordan and Frank Connor were finding it hard to take in. The nightmare wasn't over yet. 70 minutes on the clock, and McAllister tested Henry Smith. He stopped the ball but couldn't hold it, and Richard Cadet made it 6-0. It was a day when everything went right for the Bairns. Well, first and foremost, we knew we had to win today. Uh, we just were going to give it 100% effort and see if we could get the result, because we knew we had to win, and then the, the results elsewhere would take care of themselves. I believe you had a couple of uh, practice runs during the week to get you fit for today. Yes, I was away down at Gala Ferredin playing last Saturday, the free weekend, and then I was playing against St Johnson uh, Monday night here. So that gave me a couple of outings and I was training Thursday. So I'm still not match fit, but I was going to get back. Great spirit in the team today. Can you stay in the Premier League? You always hope you can. Uh, we'll, we'll take it right to the last game. If we can get a result against Motherwell next week, then who knows?